you wanted to be a doctor, but your dad wanted you to be a politician. You wrote very nicely about that in your book, and you said, no, I don't want to be a politician. This was before. Now, you write that one of your heroes, one of the people you admire the most, was Benazir Bhutto, Pakistan's first female prime minister, and also someone who was brutally murdered by the Taliban. Tell me about Benazir Bhutto and what she means to you, and do you want to be prime minister of Pakistan? When I was in Swat, and it's the culture that a woman can only be a doctor or a teacher if she gets education. Otherwise, she has to be a housewife and feed the children and live a life according to what men says in just the four boundaries of a house. I was thinking to become a doctor because everyone in our classroom says they want to become a doctor. But when I was looking at the situation of Swat, when I saw that the government is not taking an action, and when I saw that the responsible people are not saying anything, and then later on, I knew that, I realized that becoming a doctor, I can only help a small community, but by becoming a politician, I can help my whole country. I want to become a Prime Minister of Pakistan, and uh, I think it's, it's really good. Because through politics, I can serve my whole country. I can be the doctor of the whole country, and I can help children to get, uh, to get education, to go to school. I can improve the quality of education, and I can spend much of the money from the budget on education. You still have huge dreams. They didn't take that away from you. They only can shoot a body, but they cannot shoot my dreams. And I think my dreams are living. The important thing, the important thing is that they shot me because they wanted to tell me that we want to kill you and if stop your campaign. But they did a mistake, a biggest mistake. Now, I'm not afraid of death. First, I might have been. But now, I'm totally not afraid of death. And when I look at the support of people, then I'm sure that this cause is never going to die. And we will see that a day will come, every child, whether girl or boy, whether black or white, whether Christian or Muslim, he or she will be going to school, inshallah. And still to come, what happens to a young Pakistani girl when Buckingham Palace comes calling? The Queen of England has invited you to the palace. <laughs> You're going, right? <laughs>